Assalamu alaikum. It's nice to see you again as we continue on our journey of understanding how we can bring in the divine characteristics of the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala into our daily lives to improve our relationships with our family and with our spouses. The name that we're going to discuss today is Al Alim, which means the all knowing. When we think of ilm from the religious perspective, we view it as knowledge or the, the seeking of knowledge. And we understand that in our faith, it's incredibly important to pursue the seeking of knowledge. Now, what does that mean from a family perspective? We live in a world today where we tend to encourage our children to seek an education, particularly our daughters. We will often tell them, you know, make sure that you get your bachelor's, get your master's, get your PhD. Um, yet at the same time, we'll send the message that once you get all of those degrees, make sure that you are also the best mother, the best spouse, you are the best uh, person at home who is cooking, who is cleaning. And so we send mis mixed messages to our children sometimes, rather than encouraging the pursuit of education and the pursuit of knowledge to be applied in our daily lives, in the lives of our children, and also to be carried out into the community, we tend to send this mixed dichotomy of what one can do with the education. When we think of ilm also in terms of encouraging our children to pursue knowledge, to pursue education, we will often encourage our children and tell them, you know, they can be a doctor, a doctor, or a doctor. Um, in reality, there are a lot of other fields in which our knowledge needs to be propagated and needs to be applied so that others can interact, can learn, um, and can be educated. In the home perspective, again, recognizing the importance of education, recognizing the importance of applying that education to both our dunya and our deen is part of building a strong family, building a foundation of the family that can continue to grow on that sense of ilm. You know, there's a, a beautiful quote by a man named Greg Mortensen who wrote a, a book called Three Cups of Tea. He was a mountain climber who fell when he was climbing mountains in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And the family took him in and they drank three cups of tea with him. And so he told them that he felt like they were family. And he would go back to the U.S. and raise funds to build schools in their country. When he did come back to the U.S., he did build a, a foundation, an organization um, called Pennies for Peace, in which he raised funds to build schools. When he went back to Afghanistan and Pakistan, he built schools for girls. And when the journalist began to ask him, why did you only build schools for girls? He explained, if you educate a boy, you've educated an individual. If you educate a girl, you've educated a generation. And this is the truth, that when we educate our daughters, along with the education of our sons, we will see that our communities will grow, uh, the, the love within the family will grow upon that foundation of ilm. So I pray that Al Alim will give us ilm al nafi'ah, a beneficial knowledge that will help us to grow within our families, in our homes, and in our communities. Jazakumallahu khair, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, inshallah, as we continue this journey together. Assalamu alaikum.